Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. I'm the product manager of Paddle Rackets at Head. And today we are gonna present you the new Gravity 2024 range. The new Head Round Shape Rackets, which is the second generation of the Gravity line. With the round shape, the characteristics, and the materials used in the Gravity, it is basically positioned as our control range. Control in Paddle means that you can control the racket and you can easily move it, and therefore you can transmit this control to your game. The benefits of the gravity are control, massive sweet spot, maneuverability, tolerance, and comfort. We developed the Gravity 2024 range for defensive players looking for an easy to maneuver racket which want to control the game. The player target group is both male and female, and it goes from all ages, from young players attracted by the design to older, players attracted by the maneuverability and the comfort of the racket. These defensive players are normally playing on the right side of the court and they feel comfortable defending on the back of the court, waiting for the counter-attack to go to the net and finish the points. Even though our gravity is one of our high-performance range, we have rackets for everybody from tournament players to casual or beginner players. Respect the previous gravity range, we did a lot of upgrades, starting with the design of the racket, which we did a really nice and fresh upgrade, being one of the most attractive and different rackets out there in the market. In addition, to support the playability of the racket, we reduced both the weight and the balance, making it more supportive and more directed to the control character of the racket. We also developed a new drilling pattern, making it more roundish, which helps with the sweet spot, being now bigger and being more tolerant. All the rackets include as well the control foam. Control foam is perfect to increase the sweet spot and the tolerance and supporting the control character of the racket. As an umbrella technology for the whole silo, we introduced for the first time Auxetic 2.0. Auxetic 2.0 is placed now both in the yoke area of the racket, as well as on the middle bar in the grip. This way we have a direct feedback going from the hitting surface to the player head. We also introduced a new technology, which is the spin surface, being a rough surface technology, only available on the pro and the motion models, which is made to increase the control ball and the ball grip for more spin. And finally, we added the soft bat cap in the gravity range, which is good for a more comfortable grip as well as dampening vibration. The Gravity range consists of four models, the Gravity Pro, Gravity Motion, Gravity Team, and Gravity Team Light. The Gravity Pro is the heaviest of the range and the most demanding of the range. Weighting 365 grams, is made for all the tournament and the most advanced players, and it has a special heating surface made of a combination of carbon fiber and fiberglass which makes it nice for an easy power, but supporting also the control. The Gravity Motion, with a 355 grams of weight, is perfect for female tournament players like Andrea Austero or Marina Girard, but also for male advanced players who are looking for a round shape racket, which is a bit more easy to maneuver, and with the latest technologies like the spin surface. The Gravity Team is the takedown of the Pro, being 360 grams of weight, and with a fiberglass hitting surface, which makes it nice and soft feeling when hitting the ball. And it does not include the spin surface technology. And finally, we have the Gravity Team Light, which is the lightest of the range with only 340 grams, also with a fiberglass hitting surface, which is perfect for beginner, casual and intermediate players looking for a nice racket, comfortable to play with and with a soft and nice feeling. So if you are looking for control, you know the gravity range is perfect for modern players looking to dominate every shot, every court, and every aspect of the game. Thanks a lot for watching the video.